today is insurance on your Doberman Pinscher. Cruise the Doberman Pinscher. there's so many times that you're going to need insurance and what I mean my insurance is is liability insurance if you've got a big dog like this sometimes he's got a lot of energy he's really excited someone comes up to to meet him or to pet him he jumps on him and scratches their skin a little bit and that's, these are where most of the insurance claims come um, on dogs um, Lord forbid if he were to bite them but if, you know, if it just scratches their skin, knocks them over, he's already knocked my girlfriend over and hurt her, uh, hurt, actually cracked her skull. Um, she had to go to the uh, ER and, and she had some disability for a while. So, you know, it, it's accident. He was just excited. He's running fast. He's a really big animal and he can run very, very, very fast. So what if it happens to somebody else who's not in your family uh, when you're out? And that's going to be a big liability on you. Just the lawsuit itself of uh, uh, going through if it is your fault and if it's not your fault, and it probably is your fault because he doesn't understand. He's not a person. His paws are really big, and they could do some damage to some elderly people's skin. He's strong, stronger than he knows. Even if your dog doesn't intentionally hurt anyone, and if you would never intentionally hurt anyone, it's the accidental stuff that's going to cause you problems. A dog fight. If he gets into a dog fight with another dog, now, it may not be his fault. It may be his fault. He's a dog. <laughs> They're going to get into fights. So the other dogs will have vet bills. Um, you're going to have to pay those. Especially, Doberman Pinscher has a bad name. Now, one of the things you'll learn really quick is your homeowner's insurance is not going to cover a Doberman Pinscher. Mine didn't. They specifically mentioned him as an animal that they do not cover, will not cover. So we had to search for another way to get insurance. We had to search for another way to cover my big buddy here. And that's where we ran into problems. We still haven't found one that provides really adequate coverage. You want to have somebody who knows a little bit about insurance go over these terms because they're tricky and they don't want to tell these terms to you. And it's, it is pretty expensive. We had an incident with him a couple years ago. And this incident, it's when we first got him. And we were first trying to socialize him with people, and he was having a difficult time. Now, we didn't get him as a pup. We got him when he was a year old, and he had learned a few bad habits. Uh, barking at people when he shouldn't, and being what we felt might be a little aggressive toward people. So we wanted to get some insurance. Now, what we learned really fast is getting pet insurance is really, really difficult when you have a Doberman Pinscher. So, called around to all these places, we got all these websites, we got all these quotes, uh, they started emailing and calling us, and they really wanted to sell this to us, but the thing that they didn't want to do, they didn't want to tell us exactly what it covered. Uh, they wanted to tell us how much they wanted us to pay, and they would give broad terms, like, oh, it covers your, your, your pet's health needs, and accidents, and it covers... Uh, different things but it never really specifically uh, no policy details so that's my first tip for you is have them email you a policy and go through this policy really really closely now what happened to us is we purchased some insurance on our Doberman and it seemed like it was gonna be pretty good until they mailed the policy to us. Now they didn't send it first, they, they took a month or two of the money and then we called and requested that they mail us a policy because we never got actual details. Once you get the details you realize that they're not really gonna cover anything. <laughs> Your pet must be on a leash. If he's not on the leash at any time, the insurance is not gonna cover anything. If he gets out of your yard, uh, they're not going to cover anything. You have to have a fenced-in yard. Um, it, 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 they word things in such a way 
to make it so it's not really going to cover much of anything. Now there may be a good one out there, I just haven't found it. Some of the things to ask, what are the exclusions? What is not included in this pet coverage? Another thing to ask is, is this health insurance for my pet or is this liability coverage for my pet? You want some liability coverage for your pet. Um, health insurance is okay, I suppose. Uh, if, you, if you're going to be going to the vet a lot, I suppose it would be okay. But liability coverage is what's really going to save you if you have a dog like this because he's not covered under your home insurance insurance or under your car insurance. Um, other things to ask is, do I get to pick my provider? They're getting ready to fight again. I'm going to have to get him away from there. I swear, it's getting where we can't enjoy our yard because of these other dogs over there. So, you want to find out if you get to choose your provider. Uh, or if they have a network of providers that they're going to choose it for you, should this be some kind of health insurance. You also want to find out, are these providers near me? Is there one near my home? That's a really important question. Because if the only providers they have are nowhere near you, what's the point? Pets Best Healthy Paws Embrace and Pets Plan. Uh, those are four of the top insurance companies for pets. But, now I haven't seen any policy that I'm happy with uh, that would really give us coverage because the, the problem is going to happen when he goes off leash. If he gets off leash or he jumps out of the car at the wrong time, those are going to be most of your problems. Uh, if he leaves your property and causes a problem somewhere else, those are going to be the problems. Or if somebody just comes onto your property to deliver a package or, or something like that when you're not really expecting them and uh, he perceives it as a threat. If he's in your vehicle and someone comes up to it, he perceives it as a threat. Like we got stopped by the police the other day, and I was afraid he was going to perceive that as a threat and cause a problem with the officer, but he didn't. He did really good, but it was still an issue that we had to think about. So when you're choosing your pet insurance plan, those are some of the, the, the things to think about and look at. And you want to you want to choose really really carefully, and don't just <laughs> don't just accept that you got this insurance and everything's going to be good. Read that policy. I'm not endorsing any plan or any insurance company at this time, and I don't have any suggestions for you because I haven't found any that that's right for me or that makes me happy either. So I'd like to do a video that's all encompassing and says, hey, use this insurance company because they're so so great, but I can't. Uh, because I don't have that. I haven't found the insurance company that, that's right for us. So an update on my guy's injuries from his fight he had the other day. Uh, his wounds are looking a little bad. We treated him good. We've got antiseptic, he gets antibiotics and a little bit of, of a little bit of a pain reliever for it. But he likes to lick on them. And he's licked all the hair off. And uh, I guess that's talking about dog licking your wounds, I guess. So that's what he's doing. Get in. No, 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 no. Get in water. Get in there. Get in there. Right. Get in here. Cruise. Shoot, me having trouble? Wait, 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 wait. He did so good. He got in it. Is he happy? He's excited. He's proud. He's proud that he did it. He's got the zoomies. <laughs> now he's going to eat some cat food. Now, with most tricks, he learns them right off. I mean, first time, there's no problem. He learns them just oh gosh <laughs> you got me just perfectly but now some things he's just hesitant to do and he's afraid of like that swimming pool he doesn't want to get in it for some reason he loves the water but he, he's associating that with a bath or something i guess and he gets in the bathtub better than he does that there's something about that it was scaring him so i had to make him overcome that fear and when i did he was so proud he was so proud of himself you see he got the zoomies i mean he just got the oh i did it i did it i did it and and it he gets joy from that too. So that's important. You know, when you come to a situation that he doesn't want to do something, as long as it's not hazardous or bad for him, you gotta make him do it. You gotta assert control. You gotta make sure that he knows that you're the one in the charge and when you tell him to do something, he's eventually gonna do it. He understands what I wanted from him. He just didn't want to do it. Once he did it, man, pure happiness shot through his body. Dope him in a blanket. <laughs>